This tutorial explains how to split character strings at each white space location using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line three of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new character string is appearing, which is called my string. And we can print this character string to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a character string containing different letters. And in between those letters, you can see blanks or white spaces. So let's assume that we want to split this character string into multiple character strings at each position where we find a white space. Then we can apply the str split function, as you can see in line six of the code. And within the str split function, we need to specify the name of our character string. So in this case, our character string is called my string. And then we need to specify that we want to split this character string at each position where we find at least one blank value. And then I also need to specify two square brackets and a one at the end of this str split call because otherwise a list will be returned. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called my string split one. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new character string is appearing, which is called my string split one. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector of character strings and each of the elements of this vector contains the letters in front or after a white space. So as you can see in the first element, you find the letters AAA. Then in the original input data, we had a white space. So for that reason, after the AAA letters, we have used a split. And then the second element of our vector object contains the letter B because this was the first letter after the white space. So in the end, we came up with a character string vector containing five different character string elements. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the str split function to create a vector of character strings. However, we can also use the scan function as you can see in the second example of this tutorial. And within the scan function, we need to specify the text argument to be equal to the name of our string. So once again, our input string is called my string. And then we also need to specify the what argument to be equal to an empty character string. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that another vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called my string split two. And we can print this string to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that the scan function has created exactly the same vector of character strings as the str split function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.